Hate is a strong word and not one I'm a big fan of, if I'm perfectly honest. However, I'm using it here for impact as well as in contrast to things that we love. Now, this is following on the back of another video on doing more of the things you love. So how do you do less of what you hate at work? Well, in simple terms, doing more of the things you love and less of the things that you hate should help you to rekindle your love in what you do or at least have a good try. So what do you hate at work? I'm making a bold assumption that your work comprises a mix of tasks, including some that you love and others, well, that you don't. Take some time to identify what the things are that you hate. Now, this could be very quick if you feel really strongly about them. Try and be as specific and honest as you can. Now, you don't need to share this with anyone, although feel free to do this if you think it could be helpful. Now, hopefully these things constitute a minority, not the majority, of what you do. If not, that's a whole other discussion and maybe we should have a chat. So why do you hate these things? We may hate components of our work for all manner of reasons, but I'm summarizing these things into the seven things that jumped out at me from personal experience and also from talking to others. Energy drain. Some tasks may completely sap your energy. Are you left feeling exhausted by some aspects of your work? Boring. You may just find them dull. The actual tasks may not be boring, but they certainly don't flick your switch. Don't see the point. Sometimes we're asked or required to do things that just seem utterly pointless to us. It's hard to buy into something if we don't see the point of them in the first place. Distractions. These tasks may distract you from other work or things that you need to concentrate on. They may take you away from much higher value added tasks, for instance. Time consuming. They may just take up too much of your most precious resource, time. Too difficult. Sometimes we don't like tasks because we find them difficult. Same old story. The tasks themselves may be repetitive in nature or similar themes keep cropping up time and time again. I've experienced this with a few projects in my old job that would periodically rise up and die down again. It can be hard to get excited when you know the ultimate end result. Okay, that's enough about these tasks we hate. We don't intend to dwell on them, but we do need to understand the what and the why to be able to do less of them. Do less of what you hate at work. So here are some ideas on how to do less of the tasks that you hate. Delegate or outsource. Just because you hate these tasks, it doesn't mean that everybody else does. Find someone who's more suited to them or even likes or loves doing them. You could actually be helping somebody else out by doing this, by giving them work or helping them to learn and develop. Reset boundaries. So this could relate to your own personal boundaries, for example, the amount of time you dedicate to them or whether you even do them at all. You might also require boundaries for others, for example, pushing back when asked to do things outside of your remit. Reduce the amount of time spent on them. So find ways to automate, streamline or condense these tasks into specific time blocks. By reducing the time spent on them, they may seem less awful and it will allow more time for other, more enjoyable tasks. Have some fun. If you have to do them, challenge yourself to find a way to make them fun. Draw up a checklist, challenge yourself to do them quicker or in a different way. Work with others, treat yourself when they're done. Find a different job. Now this might sound like a drastic move, but maybe there's a similar job out there full of the bits you love and without the bits that you hate. It could well be worth some investigation. With many roles, there are typically components that we love and other parts that we hate. Doing more of the things you love and less of the things you hate could help you to rekindle your interest in your work or even your passion in it. So a few steps here, identify the components that you hate, understand what it is that you hate about them and why, and challenge yourself to reduce them or even eliminate them from your role. Now, if you could do with a sounding board on this, get in touch for your free career discussion.